ZBrush 4R8 has a new feature called Live Boolean that allows you to do Boolean operations upon two or more meshes. It allows you to get shapes that you could never get before in ZBrush and is extremely easy and extremely powerful. As you can see here, I could have never done that before in ZBrush within the three seconds that I did that. It's very easy to do. You have to go ahead and enable it by clicking Live Boolean in the upper left corner there. And then you need to add a new layer um, or tool that you want to actually do the operations on. So I'm going to go ahead and add a sphere here. Now the sphere, as I click through the different options, is, is the same bounding box, so it's kind of hard to see what it's doing in Boolean. So I'm going to go ahead and transform this. I'm going to take this and, and, and just move this up, and you'll see that as I change the different options, I can either cut into this like that, and it's live, so I can transform it and put it exactly where I need to, or I can do an intersection like such, and you can see how that affects, affects the different meshes. But you do need to be careful in the fact of if they share faces, you're going to get some pretty strange results. So for example, I just appended a cube onto this cube, and I'm doing subtract, and you can see it's not really working because the faces are flush. So if I go ahead and scale this and move it, you can see it works just fine. So if you're getting some strange effects, it's because the faces are flush. We're going to go ahead and look at a couple insert brushes and how these might work with a live boolean workflow. I went ahead and added this capsule. You can see that the brush depth is way, way too high. So still too high. I'm just going to keep on playing with this till I get what I like. And right there, it should, it looks like it's in perfectly. So I'm going to separate this by mask. Make sure that we go ahead and do the boolean operation of subtract. And you can see it subtracts in using a insert mesh. And then I can just add more and more and it just it does the same boolean operation. I can change this and now you can see what I was talking about earlier where the faces are being shared. So I'm going to go ahead and lower this. And now as I as I reinsert that, you can see how that cuts into the shape. I can also transform these just like any other object and get it exactly where I want it. And with the new transform tools, it makes it extremely easy. Now, if we want to go ahead and um, save this or, or make this, you go down to Boolean, make Boolean mesh, and it takes a little bit of time to load, but what it's doing, it's creating another subtool that we can append to this file or other files. It's non-destructive, so if you go ahead and go up, you can still see that we have the original cube and the original capsule there, and I can still move this capsule, but if I want to access basically the bake I made, I go append, and then in the subtools, you can see that it is right there. Let's go ahead and look at this polyframe here. So as you look at that, you can see it creates polygroups for the different intersections, and it's a very clean mesh. Let's go ahead and show you a few more brushes and some of the options that you can do with this. I'm going to go back to the original um, capsule that I had right here. Just going to leave that as a reference. And then I'm going to hit B, I for insert mesh, and there's an IMM brush. It's a lot of different technical shapes that you have, and so it's extremely fast for blocking out or kind of prototyping. Here I'll just add a heat vent, and you can see how good that looks right off the bat. I can go ahead and transform this, put it wherever I want. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this, and now something that is very, very cool is where I, when I get it where I want, I can actually cycle through the different multi meshes while in transform mode, and it'll update on the fly. If I, if I get out of the transform, then I can insert more meshes, but I can go here and basically just change it till I get what I want, and then move from there. So I'm gonna get out of transformation mode and just go ahead and add some more. Now you can, you can already start to imagine the different possibilities you could do. This is extremely good for hard surface sculpting, for blocking out, for concepting. Um, there, it, it's pretty much limitless. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Have a great day.